I think good design is simple, timeless, and there's an honesty in the materials and the approach. I'm Tom Giovoni, the founder of Giovoni Home. Here in Washington Heights in New York City, this is where it started for me. My work as an architectural designer. I was about three or four. I vividly remember being on a train with my grandfather into the city and just being mesmerized by all the old row houses in Harlem that you'd see from the elevated train track around 125th Street. And the sunlight, especially the sunlight on those buildings, just and then when I came in here the first time, I saw sunlight coming through these windows and just the same feeling. Just like, yeah, this, I have to do this. And this place became an experiment in how do I do this? And I just started ripping apart walls and having a very sort of private experience here about the structure, just following that thread. I think just starting this love affair with these old buildings and how to bring a modern sensibility to them is, is my orientation. I'm always trying to find a balance between old and new. I guess one of my philosophies that I try to bring to every project is to add by taking away. Uh, oftentimes in these old buildings, there's so much there that can be drawn out. That's innate to the building that um, I don't want to add anything over it. Old farmhouses just seems to be what I'm drawn to and I guess what I'm becoming known for. Very simple, it's very classical, it's done by hand. It was usually built by the people that lived in them. The integrity of how they were built and the beauty and how it seems to increase over time, for me, just that just, just does it for me. Something about an old farmhouse in upstate New York has always gripped me. The floating farmhouse is a beautiful creek that wraps around it in a waterfall. The way I built it, certainly the deck is suspended over the water, so I, I want to create a floating feeling. When you're in the house, a water reflection is on the ceiling of the covered porch, and you see that, that play in light. I think the, the initial impression and the biggest sense one gets is that it's very still and it's very quiet. It starts with simplicity of concept and honesty of materials. It's just what is timeless or what is going to get more beautiful with time. Craftsmanship makes all the difference. And for me, especially to get my hands on a project is a very important part of that process. Being in the work and tearing walls apart, it helps me figure out where I'm going and what I want to do. I like to leave room to innovate as you go because things change, you make discoveries you hadn't seen before behind walls. Something new always emerges and I like to leave room for that so that we could innovate in real time. I think if you're going to build something that someone's going to live in, I think you have an obligation to make sure it performs the way it's supposed to. Ideally, if I can combine innovation, performance, and craftsmanship in a detail, then I've really done my job. I think they're all innate to each other and they should fit together in a concept. That's the sweet spot. It's really very, very exciting you know, when it does happen. There's a sense of wonder, not to describe it, just feeling that it's a special place and they, it's, it's a felt experience versus a descriptive one. I want to walk into the house and just ease into it and not have to say anything, just be in it. That to me is the best, um, best validation of my work. <laughs>